In the fall of 2007, October to be exactly, I was working downtown Norfolk on one of the city buildings that housed the chief of police, fire department, all that, and the economy collapsed. That October, the unions throughout Tidewater made a deal in one day, and in one day, all the bricklayers, all the metal, all the trades got laid off. One day, everybody got pink slips. And we went around, sat down in the garage that night, a bunch of us talking, and we come up with a car is not doing 70 miles an hour going down a road and come to a screeching halt. I moved to Kentucky that following March, and the economy imploded. I was going to build houseboats. Imploded. And the beginning of the hermit years at the cabin I'd been building. And I researched to interlibrary loan was not on the internet. Economics, the most boring subject in the world. And then I went, and that led me to study the Great Depression. Okay? But why kill the goose that's laying the golden egg? They've screwed everybody over for generations. Why kill the goose that laid the golden eggs? Then I went back and discovered the fastest coup of 1933, General Smedley Butler. Uh, Bush family, same people involved back then, same ones. And same entities. And I was trying to put it all together. And I was riding down a road. This one little house I liked. I looked over at it and hit me in a split second. They were going to collapse the economy and take us third world. And I sat down at night. And I back then I was drinking beer. And I couldn't even drink a six pack. I sat out on the steps for hours. If I kept what I knew to myself, I'd be better off. But I felt compelled to warn people. I seen what happened in my space where I kept up with my sons, riddled with books. And I knew what Facebook was. I knew it was a CIA thing. But I came there to warn everyone. And my first post said, 2008 was an engineered collapse. They're going to finish the job and take us third world. The herd is going to leap from the sofa, bitch slapped by reality. Toss the remote, bellow what, and dash into the street to a waiting police state on cue. Every day since, I think it was about March 2009 or February, every day since, I studied the economy, I studied it, and I tried every day to warn people. I'm happy to have the few successes I did, and hopefully they warned others. And it disappears over the hill and more became aware. We're there. But it's worse than what I thought. I was looking at an economic collapse. I didn't think biological weapons. I didn't think nuclear war was on the thing. Digital currency. If you want to know what's going to happen, go back and look at Obama's first year. The carbon tax plan. The state test. Uh, Michigan. Traffic stop. It's hurt your cell phone. Remember that test? Then the Viper roadblocks in Tennessee. I got caught up in one of those. You're talking about something from hell thinking you're in Germany. Go through a Viper road stop. Louisiana. No secondhand cash sales. That's coming. People won't get. They won't come out of their comfort zones and face the reality and... Look at what's going on. They, they want to be distracted. They want easy exits. They want to take the easy way out. They don't want to get the damn hands dirty. It's going to bite them in the ass is what's going to happen. Ain't a damn thing I can do about it. I get to know I tried. And right now they're sitting there distracted playing social media games. How many likes can I get? Oh, the dollar, somebody sucks somebody's damn tongue. Budweiser Light was a shit beer to start with. They just don't fucking get it. That's the way it is.